Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Vintage Cube. We were playing in the Wilds of Eldraine Early Access event. We did one draft. We went like 1-3. And I was like, is this more fun than Vintage Cube? And the answer was no. And that's not really um, a reflection on Wilds of Eldraine. It's more a reflection on Vintage Cube and how sweet it is. So I think we're just taking Grim Monolith. That being said, Grim Monolith. And here we are. We're all friends here. We're all Vintage Cube friends. And then we took a poll and it was like 12 people, 20 people said, I don't know how many it was. I'll be honest with you. It was a lot. A lot of people said Vintage Cube. Two people said Wilds of Eldraine. And they only said Wilds of Eldraine to be contrarians. So... Oh, Shua Garner, I got my, I got, I got our leftover Torchies Tacos soda pop, so. I wonder if we just want to take Dark Depths, or we could take Flash and try to build around it. Also, if you play Flash with Frost Titan, you get to tap one thing down, so that's pretty cool. On the contrary, I'm no contrarian. I disagree with you. Murderous Rider, it's Hell Drain. <laughs> uh, see, that's funny. We made a joke about uh, in memory of the, the early access event, we would just draft all of the Hell Drain cards. I do think it's one of these two because I really like trying out cards in the cube. Well, I'm going to take Flash. I'm going to really see if this does anything cool. How many creatures do we need to really like flash? F four, maybe? I think three might be too few. Flash seems very strong. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. You'll play channel with one creature. Yes, but channel... Uh, channel keeps the creature in play. I don't know. I'm giving it a chance, okay? The black white guy that exiles twice. Ashen Rider. Yeah, that guy's good. I mean, you could also be a reanimate deck with Flash, right? I guess it doesn't work with Crystal Brand, or it kind of works with Archon, but it's not super exciting. This card seems really sick. This is in my cube as well. Dude, I kind of just want to audible and take this. I'm not going to. I'm going to take the Rona because I think Rona is really strong. But I wanted to. I do remember when I opponent flashed a World Spine Worm. <laughs> I guess that's true, right? Like, if you have Channel, Emrakul, and Ulamog in your deck, you still need the Channel for those two to be kind of good. I think it's just the creatures that are good with Flash seem much more niche. See, like, if we flash in a Hornet Queen, you get four 1-1s. One That's not super exciting. But if I channel a Hornet Queen, I get to keep... I get I get 2-2 two, two and, and four 1-1s. One Isn't that better? I think... I, okay, let me summarize. I think there's... I think the, the creatures that you use with each, the creatures that you have to use with, with channel are just going to be better on the board. There's more creatures that are better on the board than there are that work specifically with Flash, because Flash really requires a lot of the creatures you're going with. I like Factor Fiction. I'm going to go with Force of Negation here, though. Hey, there's an Ashen Rider. See, there's an Ulamog. And this says, like, again, this is if I channel this, I get the cast trigger and I get to keep the 10-10. If I flash this, I don't get the cast trigger because you're not casting it. You just put it into play. Also, survival could be interesting. It's got to be Ashen Rider, right? And we're almost like, are we almost like reanimating as well? Flash is also neat because if you do have good reanimate targets, you just it just puts them in the graveyard for you. Spellseeker gets a flash. Huh, that's interesting. 
Oh yeah, let's take Recurring Nightmare, actually. That seems phenomenal. I think we're I think we're doing it. I think we're living the the flash dream. Let's take a Liliana. This seems like a deck that's gonna want to discard some cards. Bone shards also discards cards. Bone shards. I've actually been consistently impressed with bone shards. Being able to take out a planeswalker with it is very, very good. And oftentimes the decks that have it. Um, I'll just take Gix. Gix is also a card I really like. Oh, cool. Life and death. Um, the decks that have this, like, want a way to discard. Well, I'll take a Vista here. Uh, Infernal Grass? I think it's probably better than just a random Hornet Queen. I'm, I'm spe specifically looking for creatures that we can both reanimate and... Uh, flash into play. So like World Spine Worm, uh, Triplicate Titan, things like that. Do you think your intense hatred of variance is being fueled by your desire to draft Timmy dot deck? Uh, no, because I do the mono green deck a lot or mono good stuff. No, I mean, but one of the things I like doing is trying different cards and strategies in the vintage cube. And I feel like if you're going to live your Timmy dot deck fantasies, the vintage cube is the place to do it. Like it's a format rife for Timmy's. Timmy. Survival and Courser. That's pretty good for like a last few picks. They're really putting a squarely in the salt eye here with every single pick that we have. And a Taiga. But I also use the Vintage Cube on Magic Online as a way to kind of inform my own cube decisions. Like, I actually picked up a Flash just the other day. Because I wanted to try it out in the cube, and I wanted to see if it was actually worth doing. So, like, having it here... See, now I want to take Cruel Ultimatum. <laughs> because I'm a friggin' degenerate. I think it's Fallen Shinobi. We don't have the creatures for it yet, but it's so good. And like, we kind of want things like Bitter Blossom or Ophiomancer that are going to be able to get through. I do kind of think it's always Shinobi. Like, if Shallow Grave, Preordain, like Bearful Mastery, there's a lot of cards that can come back here, but I'm going to take the Shinoobs. Is this a creature that's good enough to flash? It makes two three threes. That's not bad. Six power. Do you guys remember when our opponent flashed Iona into play and then they reanimated at the same turn so they literally just used Flash as a way to get her into the graveyard? Also Ponder and Palantir. Palantir is a good a good milling source. I think we do want big creatures though. We want to start getting things for a recurring nightmare. So we'll take the worm right now. Battlesphere. I think it's Thoughtseize here. Thoughtseize seems very, very good. He said, stating the obvious. Oh, Necromancy? Fantastic. Also, Zagoth Triumph lets us play that survival. Yeah, we're definitely taking Necromancy here. This is a two drop. Stop trying to stop trying to fit in that three drop slot. You're never gonna you're never gonna get cast for three. With Nightmare, I'd say it's good. What are you referring to, Mike? Mm -hmm. 
Sundering Titan. Yeah, I think it's definitely Thieving Skydiver here. This card is just phenomenal. Big fan. Also, it is a 2-1 flyer for Fallen Shinobi. Uh, Graveyard Trespasser is fine. Snuff Out is fine. I mean, those are our only real options. We could take Scrapwork Mud. It's actually a discard outlet. Yeah, let's try the Mud. I'm not excited about it. I'll tell you that. Oh, I would love to see an Atraxa, actually. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> I would love to see an Atraxa. There you go. All right. Fantastic. That's phenomenal. Oh, it's your boy. Well, unfortunately, this we cannot reanimate. I'm tempted to just take this guy. We have Prismatic Vista. Maybe this is a Goth Triumph comes back. Like, what else are we going to take here? Hangerback Walker? I'll take a Leovold. Wow, Krolos made him came back. <laughs> uh, oh, God. There's a real part of me that's like, maybe we can make it work. I mean, we're discarding enough. Mystic Smasher was in the first pack, though. Yeah, either way, there's nothing else. Iona's fine if we're reanimating. Elesh Norno. I'll just take the Odawara. Oh, Primeval Titan, huh? Yeah, we'll take a Primeval Titan. Oh, Fairy Mastermind came back. That's pretty cool. Fallen Shinobi. Sure. All right. Well, I think pack three really needs to tie this deck together. Mana Crypt. Yeah, we're definitely taking Mana Crypt. A Bitter Blossom would be nice. I was literally just going to say Bitter Blossom would probably be one of the better picks we can we can muster. The Zagoth Triumph also didn't come back, so I'm going to put this guy on the sideboard for now. Survival, Primeval Titan, Leovold. Solid green cards, though. And oh, there you go. There's the worm. Yo, Big Stew, how you feeling about this guy? Also an Entomb. Yeah, we're taking Wormy Boy. That's literally the exact card you want with Flash, I imagine. And, a and Ashen Rider. There you go. I mean, it sucks that we have to pass him to Torok, but having a Bitter Blossom for Fallen Shinobi and Recurring Nightmare like seems like exactly what we want here. This deck's looking pretty okay. It's very low curve, too. Assuming we don't have to cast any of these guys. Like, we actually have a very low curve deck. Our mana base is kind of terrible, and this is both an island and a swamp. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's Rafine. I would love a water grave or an underground sea. <laughs> My kingdom for a water grave or an underground sea.
Oh, Massacorum. Oh, Sheldock Isle too. Are we a Sheldock Isle deck? Possibly. Also, that Factor Fiction impact one didn't come back. A lot of the cards I thought were going to come back did not come back. I don't think we're Cryptic Commanding here with this mana base. I wonder if Urborg is decent for us. Or it could just be Massacorum. Massacorum just wins games sometimes. I don't feel like we have enough to really shell Duck Island. I also feel like we're not maximizing... Like, we're not getting through our deck fast enough. I'll just take a Massacre Worm. Oh, I do like an Urtai Resurrected a lot. That's just a solid gentleman. All right, this is 23. So I'm satisfied with that. Oh, you may cast him from your graveyard. So we can actually discard this guy and then blitz him. Get Blitzen. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play any of these other cards, so. Spell Pierce could be decent. I'll bring in a Spell Pierce. Oh, Phantasmal Image. What are the odds of us having an enchantment and an artifact? Seems very low. I had to yell at someone at work. Have you been lauding the queso? The queso was actually fantastic. It was very, very good. Let's bring in... Let's take a Phantasmal Image. Wow. That is a late Ulamog. And we can reanimate this one. So, Kite Sail Freebooter? Sure. Oh, the dam came back. That's interesting. Wow, we got no other fixing lands. That's pretty sad. Ooh, Blue Sun Zenith. And a Mystical Tutor. Mystical Tutor could be good. We can get Flash with it. Yeah, let's take that. So this is 24 cards, and I can see playing Mana Crypt as a land. I don't even know if Mana Crypt is that good in this deck. There's only like a handful of cards that really take advantage of it. I think basically these. Maybe this guy. Maybe this guy if we're hard casting them. Yeah, I actually don't like Soul Transfer. I tried it in my own cube, and I was like, this is impossible to get both. Like, you're literally just never... Like, the, the percentage of the time you're getting in Artifact and an Enchantment and playing, casting it as a sorcery for three mana, it's just... I'm heading north at 5.30 to look at someone. You're going to look at that? You're gonna look at, You're going to look at a person? Hey, buddy. I'm here to look at you. So we have Necromancy, Recurring Nightmare, and Death as far as our reanimation. We also have Force, or Flash, rather. This actually seems like one of the better Flash decks I can imagine with World Spine, Worm Ashen Rider, and Worm Coil Engine. And even Atrax is not bad, right? You just draw, like, six cards. No, we mur we actually passed Murderous Rider in, like, pack two. Mike was t trying to get me to take it, and then I was like, no, I refuse. Um, so this is 23 cards I can consider is this, this mystical tutor. These are like the only three I'm considering. I do like Ulamog, but I don't like that. He doesn't have an enters the battlefield ability. So I need like both to get him in the graveyard and a way to reanimate him. And also in terms of getting things in the graveyard, we have Liliana, um, Rona, Scrapwork Mutt, which is the first time trying that guy. Bone Shards. So it seems like we're pretty consistent here. I think we're just playing it like this.
Is anything not good? Fairy Mastermind's fine. Rona, Thieving Sky, Never Force, Phantasmal Image. Hee Haw Mouth. Bitter Blossom, Thoughts, He's Bone. Yeah, everything else seems good. Like, everything else is a means to an end, right? Like, we have a lot of reanimation. We have discard. We have disruption and thought seize. This actually looks pretty good. One, two, three, four. Mana Crypt is not in here. I don't know if it's... World Spine Warner is if it's only good to flash. Yeah, but, like, we have so many ways to discard things, and we can also reanimate it. It's, it's, I mean, it's a 15-15 with Trample, right? That they have to kill. Oh, because it gets shuffled back in. I see what you're saying, right? Um, It's still, yeah, it's still the card you want, though, with Flash. And, you know, it's like Emrakul, though, right? Like, if you have Sneak Attack, you're still going to play Emrakul. Even if it's, if it's only, it's not good with Reanimate, it's only good with Sneak Attack, right? So it's kind of the same thing. Only instead of, instead of Sneak Attack or Through the Breach... Being good with Emrakul, Flash is good with World Spine Worm, right? So, I don't know. I don't think that's a big deal. So this is 14, 15, 16, 17. We definitely want more black. So this is 8, 9, 10 versus 6, 7, 8. 10, 8. But then do we play Mana Crypt? I don't know, actually. Like, so many of these cards don't really benefit from Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt just ends up being a Mox that deals you damage every turn. Because we have so many low cards that cost pips. I can actually see taking Force out to bring in Mana Crypt. Let's do that. Yeah, totally, totally fine with that. I got five minutes. Let's see one whole game. <laughs> All right. I'm in. In it to win it, as the kids as the kids say. And now we wait. If we just draw a flash from every turn, we might see a whole match. Which worm, though? Huh? Uh, well, we got flash of Traxa. All right. Got the manas we need. All right. I'm excited. Okay. Well, are you just going to do something cool around your turn? Oh, fantastic. They're doing they're doing well, very well for themselves. Uh, okay. Why is this on my side? I don't even have this guy. Why am I keeping track? Do they have one on their side too on their on their game? I this is not super impressive for turn 1. We can also just discard something to kill this, which would be kind of funny to be quite honest. I think we're discarding a track set and we're just hoping for something better. Uh, we can get rid of Gix probably. Eh, actually, Phantasm Woman is probably better to get rid of here. That's a three for one, but whatever. We want this in the graveyard anyway, so it's actually a two for one.
Sure. But also, this guy being able to attack and, and hit things in our graveyard is um, kind of obnoxious because we want to reanimate, so... I mean, also, if we just... I guess we can't top deck anything because our Rafine's Tower comes into play tapped. Um, yeah, well, this has got to come down, but this is nice because it lets us play Gix or Liliana, depending on what they do next turn. Huh. Each player returns up to two cards from their graveyard to their hand. Wait. Oh, we're not doing that. We're definitely... they. They. What did they say? One vote for Embark. If Embark gets more votes... Yeah, so I guess we're just embarking. Well, so long, Flash. However... Yes. Right? Yes. Any order. Yep, that's pretty good. Now we have a death and a thought seize to cast. Yeah, all right. Yep, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. All right. Is this any graveyard or just ours? Your graveyard, got it. Vanilla click talisman custody lich. Let's take the custody lich because that's going to make us sacrifice. Play our land. Death. Uh, Traxa. And now we're living the dream. And they hit, what, they got f f basically five lands and a Vendillion click? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll take Creature. Enchantment. Uh, I think Mutt is probably, actually Mana Crypt plays Grim Monolith here. Let's do that. And I guess Land. And that's everything, right? So, done. Play this. Tap it. Play this. We play to land. We're going to have to not even discard. Cool. 7-7. Seven, seven. Lifelink flying, death touch vigilance is pretty good. This is not what we were doing when I left. How did the WoW draft go? We went 1-3 and decided we'd have more fun vintage cubing. So... This, it's just the difference between playing your favorite game and learning a new game. You know what I mean? Like, sure, I could learn a new game, and it's, it could be fun, but it's not going to be as fun as my favorite game. Heads. I won. Good for me. We're going to draw. They're going to cast V-Click. And I'm tempted to resurrect it. I'm also tempted to just not care. But I do like my recurring nightmare. One, two, three. And I'm really grateful that they sailed into the west here. All right, go back up to 18. Nice and healthy. And now we have four lands in hand, but I think we're doing pretty well. 
What land did they play? Breeding pool. Got it. B click. So we know three cards. Oh, that's great. They're griefing and we have literally no cards in hand. Oh, sure. <laughs> you have, a, you enjoy. Nurturing, got it. So we know you have two islands and two other cards. Oh, all right. Two islands and three other cards. Oh, we just win the game. Fantastic. Well, next time we could have sacked a Bee Blossom token to get a Phantasmal image to copy like an Urtai to kill this. Attack for 10. Or we could have just gotten Gix back and drawn two. There's a lot of things we could have done. Hmm. I'm just going to submit here. I don't think anything is going to be that much better than just our deck. Because our deck is kind of cool. Flash World Spine Worm one time. Neither of those cards. Okay. Well, we'll keep this. Lots of lands, but we got a we got a Gix here, and that's all you really need, right? Our opponent's name is Curdape Chupacabra One. <laughs> why why not just Curdape Chupacabra? Was that taken? Because that's funny if it is. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't think they can grief next turn. So we're actually not going to just throw it on a mana crypt for the sake of doing it. But next turn we will play Gix into... Uh, mana crypt into Gix. A lot of a lot of top shenanigans going on here. <laughs> Man. Well, I mean, even if we played this, they would have still gotten rid of the Gix, so. That's hilarious. Oh, that's interesting. Letting me keep mana crypt. Fascinating. I guess I mean our hand is pretty rough. And by rough, I mean it's absolutely terrible right now. I was banking on them, like, just not having any interaction because they really didn't have a ton in game one. Sure. And by interaction, I mean ways to deal with Gix once he's on the board. We obviously saw um, Vendillion click... Phenomenal. <laughs> Just phenomenal. All right. Well, let's. Can we sail into the West? Would you want to do that? Yep. Come sail away with me.
Pretty sure we're just F6ing here. We don't have anything to play. I don't want to, like, just play Mana Crypt for Odawara. Yeah, it's fine. Huh. Well, we're definitely getting closer. So that's interesting. Yeah, I think we're just going to bounce this guy. You only have four cards. It's not super exciting. You don't need to be drawing extra cards every turn. Oof, that's a good one. I am definitely a fan of that. All right, you ready? We're going to put it in the graveyard and see what happens. No. Oh, it's like three. Sure. Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm just going to concede here. Like, this is not a, a winnable game. Liliana. Ashen Rider, sure. Funny thing is we had, we probably had enough to cast Ashen Rider if we had one more white source there. Um, tempted to bring in just Infernal Grasp or even Dam. Dam is a sorcery, though. God, I feel like Thieving Skydiver is really good in this matchup. Should probably not keep a six land and a card as your opener. Yeah, smart. Good, good strategy. Good strategic advice. <laughs> uh... That was extremely unpleasant. I don't know if you guys heard that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The thing is, in Magic, you get to draw a card every turn. So if you have six lands and one spell, um, it's significantly likely to draw more spells. So, you know. Mm, this is rough. Yeah, we can ship this. This actually seems pretty good. I think we... I don't want to pitch the attracts. I'd rather just put it in the graveyard. We'll ship Urtai. Fingers crossed, no Inquisition. Yeah, I have to change the smoke alarm battery in here. And they have Inquisition. Fantastic. Never fails. Never fails. It's got to be Bitter Blossom, right? I guess it depends on what they have. If they have an artifact that they're afraid of us stealing. Yep, sounds good. Oh, what up, Eric? Oh, that's phenomenal. Holy smokes, that was a good draw. Oh, wow. If we hit a Black Source going Thought Season to death to get a Trax of X seems insane. I mean, I assume they're just going to Mox Diamond and play uh, Trespasser here so that they can exile our Traxa. Okay, that's fine. Come on, Black Source. Oh, damn it. <laughs> that's, I mean, it's still correct, right? Oh, baby. Give me those free crads. Okay, we got a flash. Uh, we do want a swamp to play. Now do we want Recurring Nightmare or Necromancy? Probably Necromancy. And now we want Worm Coil or Mana Crypt. They go to the bottom, right? Yeah. Pretty 
probably mana crypt. Oh, because a creature and an artifact. Smart. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Draw five. Play land. Play mana crypt. And thought sees you. Well, that was a heck of a turn, wasn't it? Damn. Oh, they have multiple multiple ways to remove Atraxa, but then we have a Necromancy. Um, so I guess we're taking Dam here because I'd rather them let us draw a card. So yeah, let's take your Dam. Your hand also looks pretty rough. Oh yeah, we can also just attack with this guy next turn and fall in Shinobi it. So that's kind of cool. How much mana do we have? One, two, we have five mana. We need four for Shinobi. So even if we hit a land, we still can't um, fall in Shinobi and Necromancy the Atraxa. If we hit a blue source, we can fall in Shinobi and then keep up Flash for Worm Coil Engine. That's not bad. Oh god, that's true. We do have enough mana for that. One, two, and then three for the pounds here. Okay, so they hit that. But wait, what? What am I missing here? I get, did the swamp come from something else? Yep, there's the baleful. Oh, they were able to cast it with that. Yep. I was hoping to draw a card, but and I lost the flip. God, where's the justice? Okay, so we hit a land. We could also just play worm coil. I'm assuming the Swamp was played. Yeah, they played Swamp and Mox Ruby. Okay, so they have Mystic Confluence and Palantir in hand. I'm pretty sure we're just Fallen shinobi in here, right? Oh, I should have just... I, I, Dude, I always cast my lands first. It's absolutely terrible. I'm so bad at it. We can also just play Worm Coil, but I think we're just going to flash Worm Coil in. That gets the same amount of power in. We're going to hit two lands. <laughs> so close to two lands. Yeah, the problem is I needed the second island to cast Flash anyway, so I probably... I mean, I, I wanted the second blue source because we needed it to... But I guess this would have been a second blue source anyway, so... <sighs> I would love to say never punished, but... Punished. But I think we're still doing pretty good considering their... Their hand... Oh, also this exiled Atraxa, so we don't actually get to get Atraxa back, whereas Dan would have just killed it. So lots of little... Uh, little decisions that probably could have benefited us, but did not. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. So that's gone. Oh, we're stealing it all right. Don't you even worry about that. I'm probably just going to let them draw a card. I'm at seven. I, I don't feel like taking four damage plus mana crypt. Yeah, you can have it. Uh, no. This is also 11 damage. <laughs> like, that's not nothing. If we have a way to discard this guy, we just kill them, right? Heads. Oh, I won. Fantastic. Feeling good. Actually, we don't have a red, so... Just kidding. Let's not play our land first. What are we hitting here? Two lands. <laughs> Phenomenal. So of our four hits, it's been land, 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 talisman. Uh, so one, two, three. This needs to be five. One, two, three, four, five. Cast with kicker. Oh, 
Can I have this? Thank you. Um, does necromancy get anything we care about? Not really currently, it looks like. So I think we're just going to play Scrappy Boy. Pitch a land, and then we'll see what our options are. <laughs> Fascinating. All right. No. Well, they're definitely going to let us draw here, I'm sure. They can't take the damage. Put on... Does it matter? I don't think it matters. We're just going to draw the Rona. I mean, if they have a Wrath of God, it's good. But then we have Necromancy, so... I'm going to have six here. I don't have any responses, so... They lost connection to the game. Oh, classic. Well, I'll pause it and we'll see if they come back. Well, we just won the game. So I'm unpausing the YouTube video. So our this our opponent, who was a little baby bitch, Kurt Ape Chupacabra 1, was unable to emotionally handle the stress of losing a game. So they, they disconnected uh, and made us wait. They wasted our time. They wasted all the viewers' time. Um, because they were just emotionally, uh, immature, emotionally stunted perhaps. So they had to leave. They couldn't, they couldn't bear the, 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 the trauma of sitting in front of the computer anymore after their sensei's divining top did not provide them with an answer. So they had to go, they just had to go. Um, and we had to, we had to be punished for their, for their, for their, uh, whatever you want to call it. So here we are. Playing round two, gonna keep this hand. Where's the flash? Show me the flash. I just think if you're shitty to like other people actively, like just, I don't know, don't be, I guess is really the. Oh, interesting. What is going on? Look at this, look at this Jund. Oh, we're definitely taking Bitter Blossom here. 1,000% Bitter Blossom. That was a good thought seize. Thank you. Oh, they can Lightning Bolt our Rona, though. That's pretty sad. Oh, what up, Mike the Mailman? Really appreciate the resub, buddy. Oh, we're no longer on... We're no longer on 4, 420 anymore. If you guys want to make it 69, 690, knock yourselves out. Uh, it's three months. It's... um. Yeah, it's just it's it's prototyping game a two prototyping 2D games. It's a UW course. I'm taking it remotely between October and December or January. And then in February, I start another game design course that's like eight months. Uh it's three different courses. And one of the teachers is actually my buddy Ben Hayes, who I've known for like 10 years. He worked at Wizards for like a decade. And currently he works at Second Dinner on Marvel snap. So, Oh, it's only 20% increments. Good call. Good call. Here you do 6,900. Would that work? 6,900. <laughs> Let's get it to 6,900%. Cause then we're back at a 20% increment, you know? Oh, this is interesting. They're hundred percent going to block though. Right? Oh, they're going to block and pump? That's fascinating. Uh, me not likey. Uh, this a lag. So Hangerback Walker's gone. Lightning Bolt's gone. Forest is gone. Fucking Second Swamp is probably gone too. Hmm. 
Okay, well, this is nice. Lots of lands for Papa Franku. I don't think we're ever going to get in if we just cast off Fallen Shinobi. Um, so we're not going to just play it. Actually, I wonder if, if getting two more mana and just activating Gix for like four at the time is any good. He wants by five by uh, 69. Ah, uh, you got me. I think in my head, the math would be every five is 100%, right? So five times 69, because it'd be 6,900 minus what's already there, right? So the math would be five times 69, 345 minus 22. So 323 subs would get us to uh, a total of... 345 subs, which would be 6,900%, right? Oh, what up, my boo? Okay, so they just want to give us lands, but not the right lands to actually activate this guy. Let's cast this beautiful baby. They got that Terra Sunder. It's funny that you used the one green source in your hand for Bob when you have a Terra Sunder in hand. That's a very strange choice. All right, Talisman, you got it. Because I know who got him to go. <laughs> uh, yes, correct. I mean, I think they're going to exile this, but whatever. Oh, good. Another top. Man, everyone loves top. I assume no, since Frank was asking me for tracking. Yes, that's what I, I asked him if he if he received yet. He said no. So I was like, let me see if Katie has some tracking. Yep, that's what we figured you'd do. I do wish I had a, a way to exile this. That would be cool. I think we're actually going to keep the island because if we're able to draw one more black source, we can discard four and then look at their cards. Yep, sure. I think the mailman is on drugs. We must be patient. <laughs> <laughs> also, Neon Tokyo, if you're on any social media, hit me up. <laughs> Poor dog needs some water and a treat. It's true. This hangerback walker is getting, getting fat. All right. This is the turn we're going to draw Swamp, remember? It wasn't. We didn't draw it. But we can bounce this guy. Oh, that's spicy. One, two, three. Okay, the spice is real. Goodbye, little walkie. Babe, I'm glad your massage went well. What? What are you doing? What? Come on, man. That's annoying. God, just yield the 
I'm not. I'm really neurotically private and reclusive. Plus, I write for a cybersecurity firm and just like you're hacking our stories all over. Oh, wow. Yeah, tell me what their social security is. Social security. Their social, uh, their social media is, and I'll just talk to you through that. And I'll be like, yo, Neon Tokyo. She massaged my TMJ from inside my mouth. This is, I don't even know what's going on. Exactly. Okay, sure. I feel like we're in uh, rough shape here. So this is a trigger, not a replacement effect. Uh, when it's put into the graveyard, you shuffle it in. So if I did draw something like Necromancy, I could discard this to Bone Shards and then reanimate it with Necromancy. We could also just play a Bitter Blossom here. And this is kind of the exact thing we wanted for Fallen Shinobi. But we are going to take some damage first. Looks like four and then eight. Maybe they'll... Look, look at this. Look at all these lands they're just drawing for free off of Bob. It's fantastic. I guess they have tops, so I should probably just take that into account. God, they're so lucky. Uh, but then again, they have tops, so maybe not. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, you just put the... You know it's also a rough shape? A dog. A dog is a rough... God, the moment when it hits. Oh, God. Man, we're talking about Bob and dogs. Must be a real Bob Barker. Am I right? Uh, thank you very much. I'll be here all week. <laughs> That's too bad. That's a real shame. I guess no blocks. They didn't get in there with Bob? You're a sham. You're a sham. Got him. So they've played Nurturing. They've played Zagoth. And Dotha, rather. They probably played Swamp, for all I know. Or Fiend's Tower. Oh, that's pretty cute. I don't know if I want to discard this. I think just hitting flash is very, very good. I think we want to just sack this because we're going to have Mastermind. But we do want to kill this because otherwise then they kill Mastermind. Put that card into your hand. So you're not drawing the card. I hope they hit Emrakul here. Oh yeah, they got top still. I did see the meme of that where they're like, man, Bob Barker got as close to 100 without going over. You know, that's a pretty good legacy, man. Like, that's a pretty funny, that's a pretty funny thing to say. Oh, all right, cool. That's a, that's a, that's a whiffer. Hello, my dear. How you feeling? Hello. <laughs> She's doing good. Oh yeah, do your little. Let me tell you how she massaged my, my jaw. Let me ask you real quick. Did these? When the last time these, did we take these guys out when we got home? Yeah, I always take them. Out. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, I always take them out. So I wrote on my intake 
form that I've been sitting like a gremlin like this. Uh huh. And that I've been clenching my jaw for five weeks. And she was like, hmm, well, I'm a TMJ specialist. And I was like, I didn't know that was a thing. And so she went like this and she did. Oh, that's, did she have gloves on? Yeah. Okay. And then she's like, and then she was like, I've never heard of a masseuse going like into the mouth. Me neither. And it was magic. That's really weird. And then when she was done, she's like, how's that feel? And I was like, I feel like Phenomenal. my face is like different. Like, I think it's a different shape. Than it looks. Like, I feel like I got plastic surgery. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really glad it was so, it went so well for you. And then she was like, your whole body is in really bad shape. <laughs> She was oh. like, you need to come back. This is not good. This is just how they get repeat business. They're like, mm, it's not looking good. This is like the when you when you go to the car manu the, the mechanic and they're like, Oh, your car's looking pretty rough. You're gonna have to come back and get all these other things fixed too. Well, I told her that I've been having like numbness in my hands when I'm sleeping. And so she was like I do that too, but I'm usually like laying on things and they're all tucked under and stuff. So No, I'm I'm not they're just like out. They're, oh, that's not good. <laughs> and so she was like, she was like pushing right here. And then she was like... And then your leg kicks. And she was like, you have an interesting case. And I was like, what does that mean? And she was like, you need to come back. And I was like, oh no. I don't want to. No, you probably do. It was pretty enjoyable. I'm a new lady. Don't sugarcoat it, Doc. Tell me what I've got. That's both creepy yet and also someone who's extremely dedicated to their craft and goes above and beyond. Yeah, she was very excellent. And I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Look at that. They drew exactly what they needed. Fantastic. I told Megan about her because Megan clenches her jaw way more than I do. Son, you got the old mouth jaw. Oh, can we? I was actually going to say let's draw a worm coil engine because that would be sick. But then we actually only have two black. Not worm coil, mask worm. So we'll probably draw it anyway. Remember when you had that triple green card with all your islands and swamps? I do remember that. Remember that time that screwdriver just fell? Did you want to hard cast him? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. So are we dead here? We just block yeah. here. One, two. These have a defender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. And then you're going to die on upkeep. Smart. Maybe they won't realize that, though. They will. Okay. You got it. Oh my god, you need to take it easy. Let me see your little doggy feet. Cause yeah, paw. That's my paw. His paw or his paw? Hard to tell. Oh boy. Wow, oh, he's really invisible right now. Not this one paw. That's true. That is not his paw. That is one visible paw. I think we're dead. Is this game one? Everybody just put everybody in. Turn them all sideways. I'm dead. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Sorry what? To distract you. Why didn't they attack with this guy? Why are they drawing out your misery? This is very strange. Why didn't they just win? So this is six. Mm -hmm. So like if I don't, I'm just going to pass here. I'm just going to take one, go to one, and then what we're going to fall in Shinob. No, we go, to, we go to one from Blair Blossom. Don't let me repeat myself if you don't know what's going on. What is this? What are you hitting here? She's an exile card. You may play at this turn without... Okay, we're, yeah, we're just going to concede. All right, great. Come on, baby. Well, there's a massacre room in here. There's also infinite removal from our opponents, so that's cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like we just drew very poorly and they had a bob. Oh, God, top is so annoying to play against. So loud. I'm watching this this Diablo video Kurt sent me.
very satisfying. I'm sorry that was loud. Is there any chance we can cast Leovold? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not easy for sure. Like our only, uh, we have Prismatic Vista and then the one um, presumable forest that we presumably put in. <laughs> I thought the FBI came in to take this man. I'm sorry, I didn't know how loud that was gonna be. But if we do get that one forest in here, we can also cast Atraxa. If I had any other source of green mana, wait, I thought we took another land that was green. We have Taiga, but that's not going to, that's not going to do it. I will play first. This is good enough. I don't, Flash is really good. I'm going to keep this and just hope we draw Flash, but also like any black source in Bitter Blossom is really good. This could do it. We'll see. So probably around 105. I'll see if I can take that out of the video. Okay, just another big fat idiot. Um, well, if we Phantasmal Images, we cannot transform it. Do we hold Skydiver or do we just start getting in there with it? What artifacts did we see? Not many. We just saw like top, which they're not going to let us take. And maybe some like... <sighs> like maybe some talismans. Oh, you never get the chance to steal a top. It just doesn't happen. They just put it on the top. I think I'm just casting this here. Oh, uh, I don't think so, because you can't transform it because it has no other side. I would be surprised if that's the way it works. If you could link me to that, I'd be really grateful because I have not seen that. That seems... <laughs> Fantastic. This doesn't do anything here, right? It actually, it's worse against Gris because Gris can target that. And just by targeting it, he'll kill it. Then they don't have to actually sacrifice the, the creature. Token copies get to transform, not creatures that copy. I'm really glad that's not confusing at all. Good grief. Yeah, get in there, you little, you little germ. Oh, what up, Chorwit? I just harassed Chorwit, and I was like, why aren't you hanging out in the stream? Why aren't you here? This is a May ability, so they probably just take nothing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, they chose nothing, so that's good. Well, I think we're just phantasmal imaging. I 
literally the one game where I'm like, let me just run out Thieving Skydiver, which is never something I do. <sighs> oh, there's a land, which you might have needed. Yeah, we'll take five here, sure. Still hoping for a flash here. Cool. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, you got Hanger Back Walker and Walking Ballista, huh? Feels good. Oh, well, that's a black source, I guess. I mean, do we just actually cast this and kill the Grist? That feels correct. Still hoping for that flash. Apparently, 1234 Fest, which was like a big ass festival in Denver, it was canceled. And I really wanted to go just because they had Jawbreaker playing. But now Jawbreaker's like, but I didn't want to go because it's a big-ass fest, and I was like, I don't feel like going to a whole festival. I'd rather just see Jawbreaker by themselves. But now they said, Jawbreaker just posted and said, we are gutted by the cancellation of 1234 Fest. It was beyond our control. Denver and Philadelphia, we are going to make it up to you the only way we know how. Check back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for details. So I'm definitely curious if there's going to be a sweet show in Denver that we can just, I can just go to with Jawbreaker, that'd be fucking great. Cause I haven't seen Jawbreaker in like three years. Yeah. Give me that double block. Yeah, give me those. Give me those germies. They're they're actually insects. Okay. <sighs> so I'm trying to look for the um I'm trying to look for the Oh, here's a here's a Reddit post. Does anyone know why One Two Three Fest was canceled for both Denver and Jersey? Interesting. Yeah, I think this match is over. I mean, unless we top deck literally flash here, I think we're probably in bad shape. But it's funny because now they have Urtai, so they can actually just cast, the, they can actually sack this to cast Urtai for free and counter our flash, so. It wasn't, it wasn't flash anyway. Yep, cool. All right, well, that match was significantly less fun. Flash doesn't do much. Okay, well, if you're going to be super rude, can I just, I mean, okay, if they don't have that, can't we just put Ashen Rider into play, kill both of their threats? Or put World Spine Orm into play, block these two threats? I don't know. But wait. Yeah, it still counts. It dies. No, wait. It gets exiled, so it doesn't die? I don't know. Yeah, because I guess they're not going to the graveyard. This doesn't die. This doesn't die. Yeah, that's a good point. You're smart. Yeah, magic's hard, man. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Hey everyone, Jawbreaker here. In light of the festival cancellation, we've decided to play a show in Frank's basement. We've never heard of him, but it should be good. Actually, I have actually met Blake Schwarzenbach. I met him back in like 2002. Uh, Jets, no, yeah, Jets to Brazil. Uh, it was not Jawbreaker at the time because they'd already broken up. Um, Jets to Brazil, which was Blake Schwarzenbach's current project at the time, which I love. Uh, was playing at the Orpheum in Tampa and I was there and it was a super small show. It was fantastic. And I went up and I asked him all kinds of questions about, I was like, he's got a little cactus tattoo. And I asked him about that. Yeah. He was a super cool guy at the time. 
What's the single most cube related Seinfeld arc you can think of? J bro, what does that even mean? <laughs> but also, yeah, Jawbreaker, thanks for the donation. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. I'm looking for the official one, two, three, four fest uh, post. I apparently the one, one, two, three, four fest uh, Instagram account only has one post and it's literally just the jawbreaker post. So that's weird. When George bangs the cleaning lady, Oregon says, was that wrong? <laughs> uh, where's our, wait, didn't I hit play match already? Am I in a match? What's going on? I went to return to game, but I didn't think this actually disappeared. I just thought it was hidden behind the return to game. I'm, I'm, I'm very confused about everything. Grandpa's having a rough time. <laughs> Also, wasn't one, two, three, four fest like just this weekend? I'm very confused. Yeah, it was supposed to be on September 9th. So literally like next Saturday. That's a really short notice to cancel something. People probably had plane tickets and stuff. That's wild. All right. Well, first turn bitter blossom. Back in my day, we played this card game in stores and you knew you were in a match because your opponent could come at you over the table at any second. That's true. Oh man, Jerry's girlfriend with all the toys was amazing. Do you remember the like? Do you remember when they they fed her all the turkey to get her the tryptophan to to pass out so her and him and George could play with all the toys? Fuck, Seinfeld is so good, dude. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? They dazed and I have a mana floating. <laughs> it's a deal. Absolute deal. Okie dokie. Oh, that was phenomenal. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Well, that's not, that's not the best days I've ever seen. Uh, okay, we're taking one here, and maybe this will kill us as well. Heads. Oh, we won. Okay. Phenomenal. We're on borrowed time right now. They're going to be like, days again. I'll be like, I still got the one floating. <sighs> okay. Pass it up. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck, Seinfeld is so good. Heads. Oh, God, we're killing it. Which is good because we have two creatures, two cards on the board that want to deal us damage, so. Fall Shinobi. It was an island. The sea was angry that day. Like an old man returning soup at a deli. Do we get to draw two here? 
Oof, we're definitely drawing two. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a island. Not as good of a boy. Bound out. 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 The marine biologist here. <laughs> oh my god! And then he holds up the golf ball, dude. Jayro reminiscing about Seinfeld episodes is fantastic. Dude, my favorite was when Curb Your Enthusiasm did the Seinfeld um, reunion, and it felt so natural, and it was so fun to watch because it was basically like watching Seinfeld. Do you have a little salad? <laughs> Could you just make it bigger and put it in a big bowl? But I don't want to be a pirate. Oh, we've won three flips so far. We're on we're on shaky ground here, my my dudes. How many cards can we draw this turn? And is the answer too many? I mean, we just draw four cards, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we're just drawing four. Like, this is not... Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Yes! Uh, probably going to say no now, because I think I want to thought seize. And I think I'm satisfied with the amount of cards we have in hand. Serenity now! It's a Festivus miracle, you know? Oh, we just win the game. They were like, you know what? I've seen enough. And you're not going to see anything else. I kind of like Spell Pierce in here. I don't know what they're doing, but they're clearly not doing creature -y stuff. So I'm going to take out Bone Shards, bring in Spell Pierce. But I don't want to be a pirate. Oh, this could be a good Thieving Skydiver matchup. All right, this hand seems fine. Mendelbaum! Mendelbaum! <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to take as much damage as I can. Every card in my deck, taking damage. That's fascinating. I think I still just want to play this. I apologize for all the YouTube viewers who I just alienated with my, with all the, the wild Seinfeld quotes. Now I wish I played Thoughtseize. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we could try to take the cards that they're going to... Oh, Oh, we can't oh we can't skydiver until next turn because it's the kicker has to be one. Unless we mana crypt. And then we can have double mana crypt. That won't kill us for sure, right? Oh, bitter blossom, eh? And we got a fallen shinobi. I think we're just gonna play Thoughtseize here. Skydiver next turn taking mana crypt. Cause I really don't want them to play something one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for it's like a million mana. Oh, well, you can't cast Zerda, and Oko is really good, so I'll take Oko. You still need something to do with infinite mana as well, so it's not like it's just a free roll. Yep. Gotta go again. Man, Stormrex, take it easy, buddy. Really appreciate you. See you, wouldn't want to be you, you know? Do we think they top deck days? I don't think so. So little Frankie is going to take a little risk. Okay. You played sail. Sail. That was a good draw. Um, each player may discard their hand and draw seven. Do we want to draw two extra cards here when our hand is this good? 
I mean, we just get to Fallen Shinobi next turn. I don't think I need reanimation targets. This is the only reanimation card we have. Like, I can just fall in Shinobi or I can keep up Counterspell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Embark, obviously. We only draw two cards. And ours are... <sighs> like, being able to Shinobi next turn seems really good. This is really hard, actually. Is a random seven better than this five? I think we keep it. Uh, oh, you're saying no, we have no reanimation targets in, in the sense that like, if we pitch this hand, we're not going to be able to reanimate anything. No, I'm going to keep my hand. I feel weird because I'm denying the ability to draw seven, which feels really strange, but. All right. Well, it resolved and now we have five mana. They don't have Zerta anymore, so we don't have to worry about infinite combos. I think they're going to play Mountain in front. No, I was wrong. <laughs> Frost Titan, Tap Thieving Skydiver down. Grim Monolith. Okay. Okay. Well, Fallen Shinobi can't be countered, and then we can replay Skydiver to take Monolith. And we won the flip. Land? You know what time it is. It's your boy. Give me that Ulamog. Tamio and a mountain, huh? Oh, we just won the game. All right. <laughs> that seems good, I guess. That'll do, pig. That'll do. 2 1. Not terrible. So, this person's name is Hank the Obese. So, that's kind of funny. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Sign those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, anywhere videos can be found. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.